Krista Gabriela, Serbian Sunday. Let us all bow our heads in prayer as we recall that this month celebrates human rights and that December 10 is Human Rights Day. Let us offer a minute of silent prayer for all the victims of human rights violations in our country. We pray for all those who have fallen in the night, victims of man's inhumanity to man, for political prisoners, prisoners of conscience who still languish in jail, whose pleas for justice, clemency, and release continuously fall on deaf ears, for those who have disappeared from the face of the earth, abducted by enemies intolerant of dissent and blinded by false loyalty. For women who have lost husbands, brothers, and sons to forces of bigotry, militarism, or fanaticism, or who are themselves victims of all forms of violence against women. For children who must now fend off for themselves collateral damage in the vicious power play of individuals, insatiable in their quest for more power and control. For our migrant workers, who suffer abuse and indignity in their simple desire to earn a living so that their families may survive the day-to-day -day challenges of poverty and want. For LGBTs victimized by homophobia and who must endure intolerance and narrow-mindedness by a society that refuses to accept their being different from the generally accepted norm. For many, whose rights have been trampled in myriad forms of discrimination, exploitation, and inhumane treatment. Let us now pray for enlightenment, for understanding, and respect for the basic rights of human beings. In this way, we can end a culture of impunity, wash away prejudice, and accept the tenets of fraternal love and the humane giving and forgiving. In humble acceptance, that despite differences in color, creed, sex, or religion, we are all brothers and sisters 